Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mfogam Konza, a social worker by profession. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you so much, guys. <clears throat> and thank you for subscribing to this channel. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for everything that you are doing to support this channel. <laughs> Thank you so much. Today, uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to make this video, which is directed to all professional social workers, or I must just say to all social workers and all uh, social auxiliary workers. This is your video. Uh, I did this video especially for you. So <clears throat> now we are we are facing a lot of challenges as social workers in this country, South Africa. Uh, <clears throat> if you can take a look at tertiary institutions, there are a lot of students. Uh, who are studying social work there. There are also those who are studying auxiliary social work there. But it is difficult to encourage them uh, to continue with this profession because they are colleagues or those who have graduated already as social workers as auxiliary social workers find it difficult to get employed in South Africa. There are so many people that are sitting at home with their degrees, with their diplomas and everything. But today I'm specifically talking about social workers. If you Take a look at South Africa today. South Africa is facing a lot of social ills. Our youth are addicted to drugs. Our youth are addicted to alcohol. Our youth <clears throat> are facing a lot of uh, challenges which, which sometimes even force them to engage in criminal activities just to deal with their everyday uh, stress and difficulties. They are trying to fend uh, for themselves and take care of their families. Sometimes they find themselves doing uh, or engaging in criminal activities just to ensure that they put bread on their tables and are feeding their families, but it's difficult. So this is a challenge that uh, social workers are trained to deal with. You know, <clears throat> if you look at so, uh, schools, especially public schools in South Africa, <clears throat> in public schools, teachers are facing a lot of challenges there. I've heard some teachers say sometimes as teachers they find themselves sitting uh, with some of their children at school talking about issues that those children are facing back at home and issues that those children are facing in their communities. Then I ask myself, why is our government not deploying social workers in public schools? Why? Why is our government not making sure that each and every public school in South Africa has a social worker? Because the work that is done by teachers at school is different from what social workers are trained to do. So if a teacher does the work that is supposed to be done by a social worker at school. 
Then you ask yourself, where is our government? So if the teacher now is talking to a child who is facing abuse at home, what happens to the other children that are waiting for the teacher in the classroom? Because this issue is supposed to be dealt with by the social worker who is deployed in that particular school. So this video uh, is something that I've been thinking about for quite some time now. And uh, <clears throat> I, I just want to speak specifically to social workers because they are the ones who are sitting at home now. They are having those CVs. They are sending those emails, trying to find jobs. They are going to internet cafes, <clears throat> printing CVs, uh, dropping them in NPOs and all those places. But it's difficult to find a job. So this video that I'm making now is for you, social workers. It's for you, auxiliary social workers. I want to ask yourself this question. What are we going to do as social workers to make sure that all of us who are unemployed, all of us who are sitting at home, find jobs and contribute to the welfare of our country, South Africa? On the 29th of May, 2024, we are going to the elections. We are going to vote. If you are a social worker and you have registered to vote on the 29th of May, 2024, how are you going to vote? I want to campaign for the political party that I am pushing, that I believe we listen to our cries and our concerns as social workers. Because we've tried so many times. We've tried so many times to talk to our ANC government. For all the past years, they've done nothing about this issue. Now you find social workers uh, going to the streets to march against the government, trying to make our government understand that sitting at home with a degree is uncalled for as a social worker because we are needed by our communities. So now, <clears throat> as a member of, an, of the MK party, I am here to ask and request all social workers to vote for MK on the 29th of May, 2024. Why do I say social workers must vote for MK on the 29th of May, 2024? I'm saying this because I'm an MK member myself and I believe that when we, we, we start a new government in 2024 with new ideas, I believe social workers should be part of that new start. Social workers to be part of those ideas, those new ideas about our country, those new ideas about our youth, those new ideas about our children, those new ideas about our future as South African. So social workers need to be involved. If you can take a look at what is happening in our government now, uh, take, for example, the SONA or the State of the Nation Address. The president speaks there for about two hours, not once in his speech has, have I ever heard him speaking about social workers who are sitting at home, who are unemployed, 
I've never heard him talk about schools, public schools, uh, that uh, they need social workers there for their children in schools to be supported in all their issues which they face at school, which they face at home and in their communities. Social workers in, in our government's meetings don't even form part of the agenda there. I don't think our government ever discuss anything about social workers. Even if you can look at the social workers that are employed by government now. I'm talking about DSD social workers, those who are also working for other departments like community safety and other departments. You see, the way they are employed there, you can see that the social workers, they are not given uh, the freedom to express themselves in a way that uh, shows that they are capable of coming up with new ideas. In short, they are muted. They can't come up with new ideas about South Africa. All the government does to them is give them instructions. This is what you have to do as social workers. And those instructions are given to them by people who know nothing about this profession. If you look at NPOs in South Africa, NPOs, many of them, uh, are run by people who know nothing about social workers. But these NPOs hire social workers and pay them peanuts. You'll find that there's an NPO here which is run by someone who just has metric and has this NPO. He hires social workers, he hires auxiliary social workers and pays them 5,000 rand a month, 3,000 rand a month. The, I'm talking about someone who has a degree, who has an owner in social work, in, in social work, being employed by a metric, a matriculant. What, 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 what is this, South Africa? NPOs, because social workers uh, need jobs, uh, they are desperate to feed their families, they are desperate to, to support their children and all that. They find themselves signing contracts where they'll be paid 5,000 rand a month, 8,000 rand a month. But they went to university and studied for four years to get this degree. So what, what, what can we say about this? Are we still going to vote for this government of the ANC that take, that take us for granted, these social workers? That doesn't include us in their agendas. I'm saying let's vote for MK on the 29th of May, 2024. Let's be together here. Uh, I'm saying to social workers, I don't know, I don't know, but I believe we need to have our own WhatsApp group now on how uh, we need to discuss this issue of the 29th of May, 2024. Because I believe as social workers, mainly of them who are black South Africans sitting at home, voting for the MK, I believe is the way forward because MK right now, if you, if you can look at MK, uh, it's one, it's, it's, it's the main for me, it's the main party that uh, it's highly possible that they can uh, <clears throat> contest uh, with the ANC. Uh, successfully during the 29th of May uh, elections. So it is the only party that I strongly believe uh, can help uh, South Africans to remove uh, the uncaring ANC government from power and start everything afresh. President Jacob Zuma has already introduced uh, the policy of free education for all our children in South Africa. So 
I believe President Jacob Zuma now, if we can make our call head to him, that we need to be deployed in schools, in public schools, all public schools. We need to, de to be deployed in all home affairs offices. I believe all home affairs offices should be managed by a social worker. Why? Because this is home affairs. Social workers were trained to deal with home affairs. Social workers know the, the legislation that runs home affairs in South Africa. They understand it clearly. And social workers are disciplined professionals who are even guided by, uh, <clears throat> uh, they have their own council, uh, the SAC SSP, which ensures that social worker, workers always conduct themselves uh, accordingly. And they work with the uh, community uh, considering their profession in everything, in all aspects of their work with communities. So I believe social workers are the ones who need to be deployed at home affairs. They must be managers there. Every home affairs office must be managed by a social worker if the government want to see change or changes in home affairs offices in this country. So home affairs offices, managers, uh, I mean, are managed by managers who are cadres. Some of them, they didn't even go to any tertiary institution. They know nothing about the legislations that pertains to uh, how they should run home affairs, but they are there as managers. Social workers should be the ones who run home affairs as managers. That's my call. Another thing I'm saying, social workers must be deployed in each and every ward in all municipalities of South Africa. When an, a, an, a, a councillor is elected for each ward in a municipality, a social worker who is going to work with this councillor must also be appointed to work with that councillor. Why? Because councillors are not trained to, to deal with some social problems that they face in their wards, which are meant to be dealt with by social workers. So that's why I'm saying each and every ward in each and every municipality must have a social worker who is deployed to work in that particular ward. So these are the three places. Schools, public schools, home affairs offices, and in all municipal wards, social workers must be deployed there by government. That is what I believe the MK, when it takes power on the 29th of May 2024, must consider moving forward. All social workers must vote for MK. I am going to make sure as Prince Mkonza that I push this uh, agenda, I push this message in my municipality, in my local municipality here in Mkondo. And I encourage all social workers in all municipalities in South Africa to also push this message that every social worker must go and vote for MK on the 29th of May 24, 2024. All social workers in all municipalities in South Africa must push the MK in that particular municipality to think about this when they take power that social workers must be deployed in each and every public school in their municipality. Social workers must be managers of home affairs offices in each and every municipality. Social workers must be in schools, must be in home affairs offices, must be in all munici municipal wards and work with councillors there. This is a way I believe our government 
can help social workers uh, find jobs and express, uh, you know, and implement what they've learned in their uh, study, uh, four-year degree study in universities. Because, guys, we, we, we are very educated as social workers. We are sitting at home with the skill that is needed by South Africa, desperately. But we are sitting with it at home. We are not implementing it in our community because we are not taken into consideration by our government. So this video is meant for all social workers there, even those who, who even those social workers who are already employed. Please help us. Help us. Let's push this together because if we, 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 we work together as social workers to protect and make our profession recognized in South Africa, recognized by our government, this can help our communities. This is what we are doing for our communities. It's not just for our own selfish gains. We as social workers were trained to be there for our communities, to help our families. That's why I even say, even at Home Affairs, we need social workers there as managers there. So please help us, all those social workers who are already employed, wherever, in government or in NPOs, please support the call for social workers to be deployed in all public schools, in all municipal wards, and in all Home Affairs offices as managers. That is all. I wanted to state or say in this video. Please share this video as much as you can. Please subscribe to this channel. Let's push our country forward. Let's push South Africa forward. Let's vote MK on the 29th of May 2024. Thank you so much.